So you want to plant a tomato plant in a pot? I'm showing you just what to do, and we're starting right now. What's up guys, my name is John, welcome to another video. If it's your first time here and you want to learn more about sustainable gardening, gardening tips and tricks, and other container gardening videos, start now by clicking the subscribe icon and clicking the bell so you don't miss out on a thing. Alright guys, so today we're back and we're working through a video about how to plant tomato plants in a pot. Now. When we're talking about tomato plants, we're talking about a wide variety of plants, uh, ranging in sizes from 18 inches to 8 feet. So when you're talking about tomato plants, you, work, you first want to know what type of tomato plant you have, and then you can take that info and decide on what size pot. Let's get to it. Okay, so the tomatoes I'm planting today are going to be indeterminate varieties. Let's take a look at the container that I'm using right now. Now this is a, a about a 25 to 35 gallon pot. I haven't I saved that in a range because I haven't actually checked to see how many gallons it actually is, but it's ranging in 25 to 35. It's a considerably large pot. Uh, if you want to talk about depth from top to bottom, you're looking at about 16 inches or so deep, and you're looking at a about 18 inches or so across uh, in both ways or in diameter if you will so this this pot will, will sub definitely sustain one large indeterminate variety tomato no problem so in this pot I've got a mixture of compost topsoil peat moss and perlite uh, this mixture is light and airy and it's going to be just perfect for a tomato plant uh, the peat moss helps to retain some moisture as well as the perlite helps to lighten the soil mix up, helps with drainage, and helps to aerate the roots of the plant. So what we're going to do is I'm going to show you exactly what I put in the tomato plant hole and we're going to get to planting this tomato plant. So here we go. Okay guys, so we're back here and I've got this pot already set up with the perfect soil mixture. So I've got my hoary hoary knife here and I'm going to make a simple hole in the back here for my tomato plant. And if you don't have one of these knives, one of these hoary hoary knives, you definitely need to get one. They are amazing. Great for digging, great for weeding, really awesome. Okay, so I've got the hole started. And there's a couple of things that really will help you in your attempt to grow tomatoes in pots. So I've got my tomato plant here, and this is a boxcar willy. And I actually bought this one because I didn't start any of these from seed this year. And I kind of was an impulse buy. So it, this is an indeterminate variety tomato, and it's a large slicing heirloom tomato. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm actually going to start by taking these lower branches off just by twisting them just like that okay then the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna actually gonna hold put my fingers around the plant and I'm gonna squeeze the bottom of the pot mm, look at that root system you just gonna take your fingers and sort of loosen those bottom roots up just like that okay now that we've got that part ready I'm gonna show you what I put in the planting hole Now, because this mix has got peat moss in it as a main ingredient, I need to put in some garden lime. One of the biggest issues with planting tomatoes in pots or even in your just your garden soil is that the tomatoes will end up getting blossom end rot. Now, most people think that's a calcium deficiency, as in there's no calcium in your soil, but it's actually more of a water issue. Uh, and what that means is because you're, it, it's basically blossom end rot is, is your plant not being able to adequately uh, access the calcium in the soil uh, due to watering issues. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put a good handful of lime. Now the reason for this in this particular mixture is because the peat moss is acidic, naturally acidic. So I'm gonna take a handful of lime here and I'm gonna mix that into the hole. Now the reason I'm doing that is this one, it's going to balance out the pH 
from the peat moss and it's going to help with the calcium issue. Now in addition to that, I'm also going to put in a handful. This is the Eco Scraps Fresh Start Plant Food. It's a 214-0 and I'm going to put a handful of that in the planting hole as well. I'm going to mix that in. What that's going to do is it's going to help get some roots established and really help this plant take hold. And the last thing I want to put in this planting hole is crushed eggshells. These are eggshells that I've saved and I've blended up so that they're nice and crushed. And I'm going to put about a quarter of a cup in the planting hole. What that's going to do is it's going to provide some calcium for the plant. I'm going to mix that in. Perfect. Okay. I'm going to take my tomato plant and I'm going to put it in there. Now with tomato plants, you can actually plant deeper than they are right now. And that's what I'm doing. I'm going to bury that stem. Just like that. All right, so I've got my tomato plant started. I've given it some food to get started. I've given it some lime to help balance out that acidity and to help with it being able to take up the calcium that's in the soil. And I've given it a nice dose of crushed eggshells as a way to add some extra calcium into the mix. With that being said, the next thing you wanna do is you wanna make sure to water that plant in real well. And before you go any further, you wanna get some sort of system in place. That way you can stake, cage, or trellis your tomato plant to give it some of that additional support that it's gonna need. Are you growing tomatoes in pots in your garden? If so, what kind of tomatoes are you growing? What kind of pots are you using? Leave that in the comments section below. I'd love to hear from you. And if you're new, drop me a hashtag new in the comments section below. I would love to welcome you more appropriately. And if you want to learn more about sustainable gardening, gardening tips and tricks, and other tomato related videos, start now by clicking the subscribe icon and clicking the bell so you don't miss out on a thing. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and definitely check out one of the videos here and I will see you in the next one.